Okay, so hey, what's guys? This is my friend Captain India. I was back with another weekly tech updates, and this is the part where you can say episode 88 of the WTU. We got some big news, as if it is 88 number, so why not? This one is having a lot of news and lot of big announcement. As of in the flagship ranges, there are a lot of products which have been announced recently. This Captain India, and let's roll over the WTU 88. Let's start off with the Honor. Honor is going ahead with their series of the smartphones. And this is Honor 100. It has been launched and it is having some of the great features. In terms of the design, it feels that it is empty but it's good as if for a first lens. It is good but it feels somewhat empty but you will get used to it if you are using one. And talking about the processor and stuff, this guy is having a two of the phones, the Honor 100 and the Honor 100 Pro. Honor 100 is having a Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, while the other one is having a Snapdragon 8 series processor. Apart from that, Honor is also thinking with the IPO. After a while, they have become an independent company and they are thinking forward for the IPO. If you have a knowledge into your financial, then IPO might be a term which can be easily identified for you. Talking about the Huawei, Huawei is the Harmony OS next, which has been completely ready enough and they are pushing it forward with the announcement and stuff. Apart from that, Huawei is thinking forward with their other smartphones which are going to be launching in the kind of say the global or you can say the international market. It is expected that the Huawei will be uh, thinking forward with their thinkings and will keep the Google Play support for those devices. But it will be having some sort of restrictions for the Huawei phones and each and every peripherals which this with the share between of the Huawei devices. Apart from that, Huawei is the one of the kind of see Huawei Nova 12. It has been seen in a vendor with a triple camera setup having a ring light type of LED design. Uh, Nova series is basically known for its bojo texture and a kind of the design and perspective and this guy is following that and it is kind of say looking a lot good in terms of the design. Talking about the Oppo and the OnePlus, firstly Oppo Pad. Oppo Pad Air 2 has got official. This is a kind of a say in terms of the design. Looks a lot similar to the OnePlus tablet and it is somewhat similar. But in terms of the specification and stuff, it has been optimized over its own way of talking. Apart from that, keeping aside the tablet for a moment, the, the Oppo Reno 11 series for China has got official. It is kind of a say not so good looking one. Basically it is having a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. The design feels a lot like a weird at a first lens and it feels a lot empty enough. The camera sensor looks a lot tiny in compared with all the Oppo Reno designs and stuff like that. In comparison, if I do have to say so in terms of the design, I like the previous generation's design and even the other previous generation design. But they should have kept it really forward enough but I don't like it at a first lens. Coming around with the OnePlus, OnePlus 12 is coming, right? We all know it is expected that the December 4th is the date when this phone will be going official. And apart from that, in the January of 2024, this phone will be going for the global market. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 will be there. A lot of expectation is there and a kind of the exclusive wood design will be coming after the launch. Not at the event day, but it is expected that the after the launch, they might be introducing a kind of see a different and good looking design and stuff. What I have thought about that, let us know in the comment section down below. Okay, uh, the Realme, yes, Realme has come into our WTU after a long time, and we are, we hadn't even covered a lot of WTU in a previous while, but we are comparing or you can say covering back those up with uh, 30 days the challenge we have taken. Apart from the Sunday, we are uploading videos on each and every day of the weeks. So yeah, if you are interested enough and uh, wanted to check out more on that, check out the channel Kiara Sandia, basically. Anyways, uh, talking about the Realme, Realme V50 and the V50s, it is expected with a lot of design leaks and stuff like that. The specification leaks are also there for this guy. As if this guy will be having a 13 megapixel dual camera sensor, a Dimensity 6100 plus processor, and a kind of a, say, a USB Type C, pro, uh, USB Type C, and a full HD plus display. A 13 megapixel dual camera means 13 plus 2 can be expected. A Type C port is expected with a 5000 mAh battery. A kind of a say, Dimensity 6100 would be a one of the things which, if the phone comes under 10k or under 15k, then might be a catchy enough. But the 6100 
there there are good amount of uh, processors available in that range with the 60 20 60 80 coming around under 15k even sometimes under 12 to 13k so let's see how it will be doing the 13 megapixel dual camera setup apart from that in their flagship series which is the realme gt5 pro which is expected with a lot of new new stuff on the top of it um first glance it is expected that the snapdragon 8 gen 3 will be there on this guy and the sony zymx 8090 80 sorry 890 basically sony imx 890 is expected for this guy it's the periscope telephoto sensor which will be available for this guy december 27th is the date when this phone will be going official talking about the xiaomi xiaomi Realme note 13r pro has got official with a 108 megapixel main sensor and a 5000 mAh with some power in battery i kind of say really really short name for this phone but anyways keeping the phone aside uh, there is also one another phone to talk about and uh, basically i'm more excited for this guy basically this is the redmi note k redmi k70e it is expected that uh, it will be powering by the dimensity 8300 processor a symmetrical type of design has been seen around with some live hand images of this phone a uh, kind of a say not uh, so much thick bezels has been seen around for this phone so I'm expected that it will be having a kind of a say, really good type of design and stuff. What are your thoughts about this phone? It will be going globally with the Poco or something like that. Let us know in the comment section down below. So coming over with the Samsung, Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Um, kind of a say, a pre-order date has been expected with the January 17th. The pre-order opens first, then the event will be happening. So we can expect that the uh, end of the January, or you can see the first week of the February will be the day or you can see the dates will be around that time period when the S24 series will be going official. Apart from that, Samsung's a uh, lot of smartphones are receiving the One UI 6, which is based upon the Android 40. So if you are using one of those devices, then make sure you go ahead and upgrade it because it is having its own way of talking. A lot of leaks and renders for Samsung Galaxy A series based smartphone has been seen now. And also one of the 4G based smartphone is coming, Samsung Galaxy A15 5G. Also topping it down with the Samsung Galaxy A15 Pi 4G version too. Apart from that, a lot of different smartphones have been also seen around. I'm talking about the Samsung Galaxy A35, which has been seen with a kind of a, a punch hole display, a 6.6 .6 inches of a AMOLED display also. A kind of a, it was expected that it will be copying itself with a quarter drop or you can say D drop type of display. But no, there is one good amount of quality display over here with no in-between of the bezels. Apart from that, if you are using the Samsung Beach smartphone, as I told you, One UI 6.1 is av available for you. Lot of different different devices, whether it's flagship, bullshit, mid range, lot of different different devices are receiving one. So if you are using one, make sure update it. What type of technology will be used by the Samsung? It is known as a Prosperous OLED display. It is named by the PHO LED display. Apart from that, it is expected from the 2025. Samsung will be implementing this uh, blue looking type of display on their devices. Also, in coming on with their kind of say A55 and the M55, both of the smartphone has been seen around and we're talking about the A55, it will be having a 25 watt of same charging. It was expected that the 33 watt charging will be capacity for this guy, but no, if um, 25 watts will be only that. Talking on with the M55, it will be having a new type of design same that triple type uh, triple state camera type of design apart from that it will be having a snapdragon 7 gen 1 has seen on the geekbench all right we're talking about some of the leaks for the apple's iphone 16 3 yes uh the 16 non-pro models will be having the same 60 hertz of display apart from that the 16 pro will be having a kind of see a battery has been seen down for the 16 pro it will be having a 3335 mh with a in battery and uh, no charge inside the box. It has been seen with a Chinese trademark certification and stuff. This is the first trial based models. It will be kind of a seeing more about the leaks and renders. Apart from that, it will be also the 16 Pro will be also optimizing itself with a 120 millimeter ultra wide sensor for the zoomable capabilities and stuff like that. We all know the Apple Vision Pro is coming in the 2024, but what timeline? Basically, it is expected that 2024 to March will be our time when the Apple will be releasing the Vision Pro itself. It will be releasing in the WWDC timeline, or you can say around the WWDC, before or after the, the timeline of the WWDC. 24 basically, when the operating system and stuff will be announcing, apart from the operating system and stuff, that might be releasing itself. 
lot of things are there that the apples have reached around this thing ups and downs for the production issues and stuff like that but yeah it is coming uh, together and uh, soon it will be launching itself apart from that samsung's not the samsung's apple's ipad mini kind of a say uh it's been a uh, two years since the last day it got refreshed with the a15 bionic and a uh, kind of a say a new type of design now it will be carrying on that same design but apart from the design and perspective 8.7 inches of a oled display will be there for this guy kind of a say nice to see that coming around with the asus rog phone 8 ultimate yeah kind of say it will be having a snapdragon age entry has been seen now with the geekman certification and stuff Sooner or later, this phone will be uh, unveiling itself. A lot of things are that the ROG Phone 8 Ultimate will be having while comparing with the other gaming based smartphones. Infinix Smart 8 HD. This is a kind of a uh, budget, budget type of smartphone. It has been seen around with a kind of a, say, a dual camera setup. Four different, different colors for this guy. HD plus display will be there. A Type-C type port for the charging. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about because these are the leaks that this phone has been given apart. Apart from that, a UFS 2.0 is there. That's the main highlight has for me. That is Red Magic, basically. That is Nubia Red Magic 9 Pro and Pro Plus. This both the phones has got unveiled. A really good type of looking design is there. I at a first glance got impressed by the design and stuff. Apart from the design, uh, the phones are powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. A 24 GB RAM is the top version for this guy. It's been a quite while since, since the Mizu has released any new smartphone, but not anymore. Mizu 21, uh, I like the design and a lot of things of the Mizu 20. I hope that same will be carried forward with this guy. Aesthetic look was been maintained on the Mizu 20. I hope that will be for this guy too. Mizu 21 is the phone which will be unveiling itself on the November 30. Lot of excitement for this guy, basically in terms of the design. I talked about the Xiaomi's Redmi K70e, which will be coming apart from with the MediaTek 3300, which has got recently unveiled on the. A lot of things are there which has been improved, and a lot of new things are there. AI, AI capabilities have been added for the Dimensity 8300 processor. Basically, it will understand your flow of uh, different different stuff, and it will be enhancing itself apart from that. A 60% boost has been seen around in the CPU architecture and uh, they have been using the ARM version 9 for the architecture and stuff. This is a kind of a, a weird but cool gadget. It is a ring for your fingers and it is having a smart health benefit and it has been recently launched only in this week only. It, I, I, my eyes got caught on this guy, that's why I'm talking about. It is known as a homemade ice wing um weird name but kind of a good concept of the health tracking benefits and stuff like that in india there are a lot of different different brands who are pushing themselves with this uh, ring type of technology but there is one in the global market too if you are looking forward with it so yeah those were some of the big updates which came out from this complete week um, it was quite quite a tight week for a lot of news to be featured in it. A lot of things are tied where the Samsung, Apple, Huawei, Honor, a lot of brands are being so talking apart from it. 2024 is expected with a lot of new new goodies and stuff like that. Anyways, December is still there. December will be marking a lot of new new phones launching and stuff like that. Such as OnePlus 12 is launching. So a lot of things are there to talk about that guy too. I hope that this phone will be flying with rocket for OnePlus and uh, what are your thoughts about the WTU88 let us know in the comment section down below this was Captain Diaz you are watching Chaos and Diaz I will catch you in the next video till then stay safe stay connected peace out